Today we're going to make a home gym in a box. This video is sponsored by Audible, which is my favorite place for audio content. I'm going to start by ripping down 3 quarter inch plywood on my table saw. I'll put dimensions and drawings of this project up on my website. I used my compound miter saw to cut the strips of plywood to length. The shelves that are going to support the weights are made out of a 2x8 that I also cut to length on the compound miter saw. We sanded all the pieces of 2x8 with an orbital sander before assembling the rack. I'm going to pre-drill holes in the pieces of 2x8 before driving in 3.5 inch long screws to assemble the rack. I use 2 inch long finished screws to screw the plywood strips to the sides of the rack. Initially, I added these heavy duty casters to the bottom of the rack, but later I decided they were too tall and I switched them out for some more low profile wheels. I finished the rack with two coats of Minwax Polycrylic. The ends of the box, which is also going to serve as a workout bench, are made out of three layers of 3 quarter inch plywood glued together. Once the glue had dried, I sanded down the edges of these end pieces. With the help of some clamps, I screwed on the side panels, and then did a quick check to make sure it fit over the rack before gluing and screwing the top down. I stretched some painter's tape about three and a half inches from the bottom of the box and then brushed on a thick coat of Flex Seal. It's like a liquid rubber and it's going to protect the base and keep it from scuffing the floor. Peeling off painter's tape to reveal a nice crisp line might be one of my favorite things to do. I'm going to use some leather and one inch closed cell foam that's meant for outdoor seating to make the padded top for the bench. I punch some holes with my leather hole punch, hammered in some grommets to reinforce the holes, folded the side flaps underneath the end flaps, and then drove stainless steel screws through the grommets and the holes and into the wood. The screws I had were too long for the side panels, so I had to trim the excess screws from the inside of the box. My Ryobi Job Plus multi-tool worked well for this, but if you don't have one of those and you have really strong hands, you can do it with wire cutters. I needed some handles for the box bench part, and I really didn't want to cut slots into the side, which would, would be sort of the obvious answer. So instead I tried making some rope handles by unfraying the ends of the rope adding some construction adhesive, and then rolling it up all real tightly in a piece of leather. This actually worked quite well and was pretty strong. I used pipe straps to screw the handle onto the sides of the box. Of all of the fitness projects that I've done, this one's my favorite. If you live in a loft like I do, everything is visible, so I still want to maintain healthy habits and have easy access to workout equipment, but I don't want it cluttering up the living space where I may end up entertaining. I spent the first two months of the year only doing body weight exercises. I feel pretty good, but I'm definitely ready to start adding some weights to my exercise regime. I bought three kettlebells and this really nice exercise mat from onit.com, and I also got some adjustable weight dumbbells as well. The layered aesthetic of the leather, wood, and white rubber of the box looks great in an apartment, and it hides a pretty fair amount of workout equipment. If you're interested in the types of workouts that I do, be sure to check out my second channel. That's where I'll be posting that kind of stuff. And while the internet is critiquing my form, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor for this video, Audible. When I work out, I actually don't listen to music. I prefer listening to audiobooks. That way I'm learning something while I'm getting a little bit healthier. Audible has a massive library of audiobooks, including the one that I'm currently reading, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's really great for any of you creatives that have ever had writer's block or any type of creative block. Audible is offering our listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash homemade modern. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of my other DIY fitness videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Bye.